College football playoff reaction. Of course, on Sunday, they announced that the teams that got in uh, were TCU as the number three seed and Ohio State as the number four seed. We all knew that Georgia and Michigan would be one and two. That was not a surprise. The surprise was TCU, even after a loss in the Big 12 title game, they got in and then Ohio State got in. USC, of course, being bumped out after Caleb Williams suffered an injury early against Utah and USC had no answer for the Utes. It was just a complete debacle. Uh, And I do find it rather funny to see all of these different talking heads discussing who deserves to be in, etc., etc. Maybe, maybe it's smarter to come at it from the idea of there's only two that really deserve to be in, right? Like, you you try and talk about who is the most deserving, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, TCU lost their conference championship game. Yes, I understand it was to a team that they already beat, but this is the way that the Big 12 decided to set this up. So, it was to a team that they already beat, Beat earlier in the year, granted at home, but this was neutral site to a top 10 team. So uh, everybody believes that TCU was the more deserving team to get into the playoff field. And I completely understand that. I'm not I'm not disparaging at TCU whatsoever. And Ohio State, of course, being number four, well, when you've only got one loss next to your name, uh, that's the way that this playoff uh, committee has decided that they want to do it. They think that uh, even if you did lose in the last game of the season by more than three touchdowns at home, uh, as long as it was to a really good team, you should be okay. And I do understand that. Alabama did not deserve to be in. They were number five in this. Uh, but had they gotten in over Tennessee, uh, yeah, there would have been a lot of people really upset about that. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, Tennessee probably should not have gone on the road late in November and gotten housed by uh, 40 point, 30 points, whatever it was. They gave up 63 points to a South Carolina team that scored zero offensive points at Florida the the week before or two weeks before or whatever it was, right? There was nobody really deserving in this. Now, the team that really, really might have an issue here is Clemson, and they had plenty of opportunities to put in Cade Club late in this season, and they didn't do it. And this was Dabo maybe being a bit hard-headed. I understand why he is fiercely loyal to his guys. That is his brand. That's what they do. That is what they believe in. But it was very apparent at multiple points this season that Cade Klubnik was the better option. Some of the spots that they put him in, it was was a no-win situation. You put him in with a lot of pressure on him. In this situation, yeah, there was a little bit of pressure on him. They were already down in the ballgame. But against North Carolina, you gave him actual time against a bad defense. That North Carolina defense has made a lot of people look like Heisman Trophy contenders. I I look at what is going on with Clemson, and I'm... I'm very curious going forward if Dabo will make this mistake again. Uh, We're going to talk about the portal. We're going to talk about all kinds of things. But, I mean, you look at this. Clemson lost in their last game of the regular season. Ohio State lost in their last game of the regular season. TCU lost in their conference championship game. Uh, Alabama lost in early November. Granted, it was on the road, but whatever, right? None of these teams deserved to be in. As far as the rankings are concerned... Uh, let's go on to pull that up, and I'll, I'll take a look at what is actually... Who who in this top 10 really deserve to be there? At Utah was number 8. They were 10-3. and three. Kansas State, number 9, 10-3. USC is top 10. They were 11-2. and two. Penn State, 10-2. and two. Washington, 10-2 and two at number 12. Uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, this is the one year where the BCS would have fixed everything. Just saying. That's what the CP, it's CFP did to me this year. Uh, do we really need 12 teams in the playoff? Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.